second, our second technological challenge is I want you to resist the urge to use the technology simply because it's available. You all use different virtual classrooms, I'm sure. You'll hear things like, okay, let's let's get this on WebEx on Friday because we've got WebEx. Or let's put 90 I had this conversation yesterday. Let's get 90% of our content online by the end of the year. We have this this concept of we've got it and we we should use it. But what that results in is bad training, weak initiatives. It makes our designs more complicated than they need to be because we're trying to force fit content into into an area where it's not where it doesn't make sense. And it also continues that idea that using the technology seems trendy. What I want you to do is use the simplest te combinations of technologies and don't use something to see somebody else work. Somebody else work with it in your environment. We need to test this. We need to make sure that the entire blend works together. This is especially important if you don't have control over your end user audience. If, you're, if you don't know if your end users are on Macs or PCs, if you don't know where they are in the world, what types of firewalls they are working in, we need to make sure we use that simplest combination possible and do some testing ahead of time. And I think that all the technological challenges that you listed earlier come can be addressed if we resist the urge to use this technology and we can we do what we can up front to ensure the students can be successful. <laughs>